600 years ago, we had a government in the form of the Sultanate of Sulu. And it was established by Sharif ul Hashim, and all descendants of the Sulu Sultanate emanates from him. You know, we just can't be fed with this solution or not understanding what really happened in the past. Muna -muna pa siya, pag -aga Manila. Sulu now is known for kidnappings when it was once a very glorious kingdom. For all these years, for all these centuries, we have been treating the Taosu as an enemy in the state, as people who are war mongers. It's not true that we were savages when the conquerors came here. In pagtag ini chin mga Espanyol ha, ini kwan si mga Muslim, mga dirty ini advocator for in a dirty religion. Yes, there was a conscious effort by the Philippine government to dismantle the Sulu political institution. Dawon nila kita lang din history niya yan. Pagtaya din why ruo mi akwan niya on. Putang nila. If you want to destroy a nation, you have to destroy its culture and its history and then everything will be forgotten. I read a quote somewhere, and it says that the biggest adventure you can take is to live the life of your dreams. But how do you say that to someone who is denied of the most basic needs? Ten pesos, minsan naman na, ano, five pesos, minsan wala. Or how do you tell a child that hey, you can live the life of your dreams when there is war? When there is no food on the table, when there are no schools to go to, to me the most heart-wrenching thing about war is the fact that this is all man-made and that the most affected are children. Tell me, what does the future look like to you? What does the future look like to them?
Hi, my name is Nico Livello. Joel Ferrer. I'm Dominic Lim. Jeff Bilego. I'm John Bidia. Batch 1. Batch 4. Batch 1. Uh, batch 4. Batch 5 of ATF 5. Film school is, for me, yun yung way. Especially ATF 5. Yung nilagay niya ako dun sa parang the right track on how to properly do it. Nakukuha mo yung pangradyo ng your classmates, you develop friendship. Playground talaga yung film school. Denied ako ng APFI kung saan talaga ako mag-intern. Filmmaking is about storytelling. And storytelling has been part of human nature ever since then. Ever since the age of cavemen, people love to tell stories. In whatever form, structure, or type, stories exist ever since then. If you want to do something or you want to shoot something, you, you think na, hey, this is your, at this, ito yung feeling ko pag ginawa ko to, ito yung ako eh. Alam mo yun, do that. When you start filmmaker, kailangan nilalabas mo talaga yung sarili mo out there. Hindi ka dapat introvert. Having your own voice and having your own DNA is being, feeling ko the best thing that filmmaker can do. Kailangan willing ka uh, to work, mag-PA, mag-intern. Hindi ka malakang muna sa bottom. The love-hate relationship with the brand. At ito kung anong ginagawang material. We're hungry, we're creative. Sila yung naging inspiration ko rin to be better than me state ka, hindi ka may nakakompromise. Minsan, hindi mo na alam mo yung gagawin mo or tatapusin yung film. Pero kung dahil mahal mo yung ginagawa mo at mahal mo yung pagkakwento, be hardworking, you don't give up. It's important to know but and discover what path it is that you want to pursue. And when you decide on that path, you do everything to stay on it. Filmmaking is about telling your story. Not, it's not telling other people's story, it's telling your story. So, uh, keep making your stories, that's, people would recognize that. Okay. Assalamualaikum Bangsamoro and magandang araw Pilipinas. I am Radem Musawa, your festival director for this year's event. And welcome to Bangsamoro Short Film Festival 2020 Online Edition. So on this episode, we'll be teaching you on the tips and hacks on how to improve your storytelling through post-production or video editing. So before we proceed, I would like to thank first our partners for partnering with us, especially in time of uh, pandemic. So first, I would like to acknowledge Czech Republic Embassy in Manila, British Council Philippines, Department of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of the Philippines, Para Sassini, French Manila Art Festival, Bureau of Cultural Heritage of Bangsamoro Autonomous Region of Muslim Mindanao, Save the Children, and Asia Pacific Film Institute. So please don't forget to submit your uh, three to five minutes short film and celebrate Heritage Without Borders with us with Bangsamoro Short Film Festival. So for the opening remarks, I would like to uh, call on our executive producer, Bangsamoro Autonomous Region of in Muslim Mindanao, Member of the Parliament, Attorney Maisara Dandamun Latif. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am now here at the, our relief operations here in the uh, Ar Philippine Army for the locally stranded individuals. I am here and I uh, would like to welcome you all 
to our video editing workshop today. Notwithstanding, I'm so busy with our relief assistance. Still, my heart is, uh, is with you all. And I will hope that all those uh, listeners and viewers and even the teachers who are here with us today will learn uh, how to edit videos, how to uh, create great productions. And hopefully with the video edit editor that we have here who are experts, including uh, our very own Ray Dem, uh, will be able to uh, give you how is it to make a good vi uh, video. And hopefully your students will uh, benefit from it. So thank you very much, Ray Dem, for uh, having this uh, part two webinar series. Last time we had a seven, seven um, film talks with a webinar, uh, film talks, film talks with the directors. So today we will have the web, web webinar with the video editors. So at the Babe background are all those people who help. We will serve 500 locally standard, stranded individuals today uh, by giving them cash assistance. Um, I hope that with the pandemic, uh, we will be able to capture good uh, storytelling so that people will learn uh, from us and this experience and hopefully we can build a better future also. Thank you very much, Raydem, and all the viewers and also our video editor guests today. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Attorney Maisara Dandamun Latif for that uh, amazing opening remark. So with, uh, with no further ado, I would like to introduce our instructor for today for the video editing. Um, so our instructor for today is none other than filmmaker and chief executive creative officer of Tomcat USD. Uh, he's been working in editing videos for international and local uh, video production and video works, such as Intramuros Administration, Ametech USA, TOFA, United Nations uh, Population Fund, and as well as Voice Netherlands. So please welcome Jude Van Kawili. Hello, Jude. Thank you for having us. Uh, thank you Hi, for man. being part of this uh, webinar on the video editing. And hopefully, you will be able to uh, uh, teach a lot of tips and hacks to our audience and how they can improve their storytelling through post-production. So I'll give the floor with you and good luck. Okay, so uh, thank you, Director Dem. And uh, hello, uh, welcome to this webinar talk. And today, um, I'm going to be introducing myself first. I am Jude Kawili, a filmmaker and a chief creative officer of the media organization. And today, I'm going to be teaching you how to edit in different editing tools. Uh, before tayo magsimula doon, um, magkikwento muna ako ng, ng slide. <coughs> kung saan ako nagsimula or like kung paano ako nagsimula mag video edit. So back in um, 2013 when I was in high school, uh, doon ako nagsimula na maging interesado sa video editing. So first, uh, nag-edit ako sa um, Cyberlink Power Director and then as the time goes by, gusto kong improve pa yung sarili ko and gusto kong mag-try ng other professional editing tools such as Sony Vegas Pro and then nag-switch ako into uh, Premiere Pro, so Adobe Premiere Pro. And then after that, nung nagkaroon ako ng a uh, new laptop so tinray ko magkaroon ng uh, tinray ko mag uh, final cut pro so ayun uh, doon talaga uh, doon ako na excited whenever i edit a video doon ako nagkakaroon ng excitement because um ako as a video editor as a freelancer syempre it is my job and it is my duty to um provide a good story uh by editing and uh by you know uh, composing composing sa ano sa sa video editing so uh you know the advantage of this um, live stream is lahat tayo dito lockdown and because of this pandemic, uh, we are able to uh, learn different things remotely and sobrang nagpapasalamat ako dahil dito sa un uh, dahil una, um, nung panahon ko wala pang ganito kaya pahirapan matuto, di ba? So, ngayon sobrang convenient na nasa bahay lang tayo and natututo tayo through this plat platform. So, uh, thank you for this. Uh, thank you for having, for having me. So uh, today, uh, I'm going to be introducing you muna, before time mag start mag-edit, uh, I'm going to be introducing you some of the friendly user video editing tools na pwede nyong i-download for free. So uh, pwede kayong mag-download, uh, pwede, pwede mag-video edit through mobile phones, pwede kayong mag-edit through computers, Windows or Mac OS na laptop. So sa ibang may bayad na 
video editing software, pwede naman kayo bumili. But if you are a beginner, pwede, uh, I, I recommend you na gumamit muna ng uh, crack or like mag-download muna kayo ng crack and mag-download through torrent. So as long as hindi nyo gagamitin yung video editing tool nyo for commercial purposes. So ayun, um, mag, mag-start muna tayo sa basic na mga video editing tools. Mag-start muna tayo sa mobile phones. So first, um, sa mga mobile phones, um, pwede kayo mag-download ng kahit anong free editing software doon. So, meron mga in-app purchases, pero I don't actually recommend you buying an in-app purchase na mga uh, softwares. Pero, I recommend you having uh, tools such as Quick, uh, Adobe Premiere Clip, iMovie, which is for iPhone, uh, Wii Video, Clips, Splice, Cameo, uh, KineMaster, PowerDirector, uh, LumaFusion, VideoGrade, Pinaka Studio, Pick Play Post, uh, Viva Video, Video Shop, and so on and so forth. Sobrang dami na mga options to um, download. Diba? Sobrang dami yung uh, mahahanap na mga apps to choose from. Uh, depende sa preference nyo or like depende sa kung saan kayo matipuhan. Actually, hindi ko na makukumpare yung isa-isa eh, Except for the iMovie. Kasi yung iMovie is for iPhone and for uh, laptop. So, Mac OS siya. And for iOS users. So yung mga other video editing tools naman, pwede siya sa both Android and iPhone or iOS uh, devices. Um, hindi ko siya makukumpare isa-isa kasi halos pareho lang naman sila ng features eh. So kapag nag edit ka, actually nakapag-try ako mag-edit ng video sa KineMaster once. And ang pinaka nare-recommend ko na video editing tool para sa inyo is for, uh, that, that is for iOS um, which is iMovie. So, yung iMovie is a free application sa iOS devices. And um, pwede, siya, pwede nyo siya makuha agad or pwede nyo siya ma-download ma- easily. So, sa iMovie, sobrang dali lang din ang interface niya. Maganda, lang, maganda rin siya. User-friendly din siya. And um, the other one, uh, kung Android phone naman yung ginagamit nyo, pwede rin kayo mag-edit sa KineMaster. So, yung KineMaster is actually uh, most recommended app. Uh, it is the most recommended app sa mga other filmmakers or like sa mga other, uh, sabihin natin, YouTubers or something like that. So, kapag nag- uh, beginner pa lang kayo at gusto nyo pa rin palang matuto or gusto nyo palang mag-start ng video edit, uh, pwede kayong mag-edit through mobile phones. So, ang next naman na i-discuss natin is about sa mga Windows and Mac OS um, devices. So, so Windows and Mac OS, uh, uh, Mac OS devices, we have a lot of option, options to deal with. So first, so Windows um, I recommend you using um, actually marami kasi mga free na downloaded softwares or editing softwares eh. like ayun, Sony Vegas, pwede kayong mag-download ng trial doon. Um, we have um, Power Director or Cyberlink Power Director. We have actually Windows Movie Maker. So ba- very basic ang interface niya. But I don't know kung uh, meron pa rin yung Windows Movie Maker sa Windows 10. So Actually, kasi ngayon, so since in, in the year 2020 kasi, uh, halos lahat ng mga laptops natin is uh, pataas na uh, from Windows 7 to Windows 10. So, wala nang Windows XP, wala nang Windows Vista or something like that. So, I don't know if uh, available pa rin yung Windows Movie Maker sa um, other uh, updated na OS or operating system. So, for the Apple devices naman or like sa MacBook Airs or sa MacBook Pros or any MacBook devices, pwede kayong mag, um, mag-download ng iMovie din. So, as I have said before, yung iMovie is not just for iPhone. Uh, iMovie is also for laptops. So, ayun. Kung gusto nyo ng basic applications lang muna and ayaw nyo muna makipag-deal sa mga medyo complicated na editing tools, uh, you can actually go for the iMovie. Kasi iMovie is the most recommended app kasi sobrang dali lang yung gamitin. And, you know, um, just import... Uh, clips or footages and, the, and just easily drag the uh, footage from the timeline. So, ayun. Uh, mamaya, tuturuan ko kayo, but I'm actually using the Final Cut Pro 10. Um, kasi ang ginagamit ko is uh, OS, uh, Mac OS. Uh, pero, uh, once na mag edit tayo mamaya, I can, you can actually apply everything that I'm gonna be doing sa editing tool ko. You can actually apply it in other editing tools, such as uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, Sony Vegas Pro, uh, Avid Pro, um, DaVinci Resolve. So, ayun, marami pa. Marami pa mga video editing tools na halos pareho lang naman sila ng features or halos pareho lang naman sila ng purpose. So, merong timeline, merong project media, sobrang dami. 
So, isa pa pala hindi ko na discuss is yung DaVinci Resolve. So, pwede siya for both uh, Mac OS and Windows user. So, ayun yung mga free software na pwede yung gamitin. So, yung uh, DaVinci Resolve, uh, sobrang daming uh, features nun. And you can actually download it legally for free. So, pwede kayong maghanap sa Google or like, pwede kayong maghanap sa other websites nyo or sa other browsers nyo. Uh, pwede kayong makahanap easily. Uh, yung, yung DaVinci Resolve, uh, nire-recommend ko rin sa inyo yung DaVinci Resolve 16 kasi um, first, hindi lang tayo or like hindi lang tayo yung benefit or yung mga other na beginners din na mga filmmakers makakabenefit din sa video editing software na yun. Kasi um, yung DaVinci Resolve 16, um, is commonly used sa mga bigger productions then actually. So, kung gusto nyo matuto agad ng mga complicated softwares and gusto nyo uh, matuto for long-term investment, uh, pwede kayong uh, matuto agad din sa mga video editing softwares na, na minention ko sa inyo kanina. Like yung uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, yung Sony Vegas Pro, PowerLink, uh, CyberLink, PowerDirector, and so on and so forth. So, yung DaVinci Resolve kasi is... Um, Kaya siya ginagamit ng mga other filmmakers is because sobrang ganda ng color grading system niya or like sobrang ganda ng color grading feature niya. So, hindi lang siya for stitching, kundi pang color grading siya. Um, at first, talaga may hirapan talaga kayo na gamitin yung DaVinci Resolve kasi yung interface niya is just, it, it is not actually user-friendly. Pero pag nakita niyo yun and kapag nasanay kayo, once na, na, na nag-start kayo or once na nag-aaral kayo sa DaVinci Resolve, sobrang mapapadali buhay niyo sa pag edit ng video in the future. So, Ayun lang yung mga uh, needed na um, video editing tool na pwede kong i-recommend sa inyo. And yung other video editing tools kasi na hindi, hindi ko na-recommend sa inyo is medyo buggy siya. So knowing na halos lahat tayo dito is not actually capable of doing such high quality video content. So like uh, hanggang kaya, ang, ang kaya lang ng iba sa atin is 1080p resolution or like 1920 by 1080 1080p resolution. Um, Ayun lang yung marirecommend ko sa inyo na optimized for um, both Windows and Mac OS laptop. So, um, hindi lang laptop, actually computer din. So, ayun, uh, brief lang tayo, sandali. Um, before tayo mag-start sa actual editing, uh, ang mga video editing tools for the iPhone na pwede ko marirecommend sa inyo is whatever na free doon sa makikita nyo sa App Store or like sa Play Store. So, marami, di ba? Uh, like yung Quick, Adobe Premiere Clip, iMovie, Wii Videos, uh, Splice, Cameo, and KineMaster, LumaFusion, um, Video Grade, Pinaka Studio, Quick Play Post, Viva Video, Video Shop, Magisto, um, Funimate, a live movie maker, uh, Filmora, actually ayon isa pa sa mga ganun. Ang daming free na software sa pwede kayong um, pwede nyo mahanap or like ang daming software to choose from. So, hindi na kayo mahihirapan. So, ayun. Um, so, sa mga ibang may bayad, ayun nga, sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, pwede kayong bumili if you are a beginner. Pero kung gusto nyo palang matuto, pwede nyo naman i-crack lang muna eh. And um, I don't recommend you buying agad. Since ngayon, uh, aspiring filmmakers kayo, yes. And uh, yung mga other uh, nanonood dito, other viewers na nanonood dito, uh, gusto nyo matuto ng video edit, um, I don't recommend you buying agad-agad ng mga uh, premium na video software. So, um, okay, let's start na sa pag-video edit. Um, agad-agad na to, like straight to the point. Let's start na. Uh, okay. uh, before ako mag-start ulit, um, I would like to thank all of uh, all the viewers then pala na nanonood dito ngayon and I hope na marami kayo matutunan. So, doon pala sa video ina iya edit ko, um, it is about the, uh, naglakad lang kasi ako around USD since nandito ako sa Manila, um, ang malapit lang sa akin is USD and sarado halos lahat. Uh, shinoot ko siya during this GCQ, siguro two weeks ago. And uh, shinoot ko siya and um, na napansin ko na parang ang, ang target audience ko dun is Tomasians. Pero like, may konting storytelling even though wala akong narrative dun or like wala akong narration, nagigets na agad ng mga audience kung ano yung pinapakita ko sa kanila. Because uh, in the first place, um, ang maganda talaga dun is, uh, ang maganda talaga dun is mapakita ko talaga yung nostalgic experience ng mga uh, Tomasians. So, it is all about the storytelling. From the condo, dyan pa lang sa condo na nakatira ka dyan, 
um, from hanggang sa pagbaba mo doon sa actual content and hanggang sa pagpunta mo sa USD and sa four corners ng USD which is Pinoval, Dapitan, uh, Lacson, and Espanya. So, eto, uh, papakita ko na sa inyo yung tutorial. Okay, sorry, medyo nagkaroon ng technical problems. Uh, okay, for the... Okay, so nandito na tayo sa uh, desktop ko. Uh, first, before tayo mag-start ng pag-edit ng video sa isang editing tool, um, i i ang tip and techniques ko muna sa inyo before kayo mag-edit is to uh, organize every file that you have. So, sa pag-organize ng file, uh, kailangan meron kayong folder uh, na nakalaan. So, I have this... Um, uh, folder. So this is Final Cut Original Media. So etong folder nito is for uh, music. Ito yung music na napili ko before pa. So ito yung nahanap ko sa website na pinagkuhanan ko. So by the way, sa website na pwede yung pagkuhanan ng mga royal, royalty music um, uh, website is YouTube Audio Library and Epidemic Sound. So sa YouTube Audio Library, Marami kayong makahanap na free music doon and doon sa Epidemic Sound naman, makahanap din kayo ng millions of music doon actually. Ang daming preference or like ang daming options. But the problem is, uh, may bayad siya monthly. So kung gusto nyo makatipid doon kayo sa YouTube Audio Library. So YouTube offers a free music and uh, sound effect as well. So uh, ito yung folder nito. So yung folder naman na to is for the footages that I have shot before or last week during the GCQ. Uh, na shoot ko siya around UST since malapit lang ako sa UST ang ginawa ko is that uh, is just I sh uh, I I shoot uh, the clips or like I shoot the uh, street beside UST so shoot ko yung Espanya shoot ko yung Pinoval shoot ko yung uh, Dapitan yung Lacson yung four corners na yon nilakad ko para makapag shoot ako so ito yung mga folders na yan so, kapag mag-open ako ng project file, hindi na ako mahihirapan and hindi na ako mako-confuse. So, ang gamit ko na editing software or editing tool is the Final Cut Pro 10. So, I, as I have said before, lahat ng gagawin ko sa Final Cut Pro is pwede mong magawa sa, uh, sa other editing tool. So, ito. Uh, meron na akong ginawang uh, short film sample dito, which is ito. So, hindi nyo na naririnig yung, ano, yung audio niya because um, first, uh, naka-headphones ako and, or naka-earpods ako. So, hindi nyo talaga maririnig. So, maririnig nyo na lang talaga yung output na. So, ito siya. Uh, as you can see, medyo may... Uh, the thing siya because it's uh, a little bit uh, cinematic because I prefer na cinematic lahat ng mga clips ko and the way I color grade it, the way I color correct it, the way I um, manually expose the clips sa post-processing. Gusto ko yung ganitong klase ng look because um, it gives a vibe or dramatic vibe, di ba? 
So, okay talaga ako dito. So, okay, magbe-breakdown lang muna tayo ng, 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 ng ginawa ko na video. So, okay, sabihin na natin na ayan uh, lahat ng mga clips ko, wala pa yan, wala pa yan lahat. So, kunwari, gagawa tayo ng bagong project file. So, file, new project. So, sample. So, dito sa paggawa ng project file na to, um, merong settings dito. So, dito sa video na to, uh, sa video setting na to or video output setting na to, nakaset siya ng 1080p HD and uh, resolution of 1920 by 1080 and the frame rate of 23.98. So, dapat ganyan yung magiging settings ng uh, video project nyo because sa cinematic, sa short film, um, mas maganda na yung frame rate nyo is uh, 24 frames per second Kasi since sa lahat ng mga, pag nagpupunta kayo sa sine, mada, madalas yung nakikita yung 24 frames per second. And nakikita yung na medyo laggy yung frame. Kasi 24 frames per second siya and it gives a cinematic vibe para um, maging mas interested pa yung movie. Uh, para mas maging dramatic siya and para mas uh, magkaroon ng dating yung movie mismo. So just like um, making a short film or like just making a sh uh, mini documentary films, uh, ganun din yung ginagawa ko. So, like, I prefer na 24 frames per second talaga. And yung resolution naman, mas okay na 1080p HD muna yung gagamitin natin na resolution because sa resolution, um, I don't recommend you guys na gumawa ng 4K resolution na project because um, sa 4K, 6K, or 8K resolution, medyo malaki na yung file niya and uh, I don't recommend you guys uh, making a project uh, at that high resolution. Pero, Kung capable naman yung laptop nyo na, na mag-edit ng 4K resolution, go lang. Uh, hindi naman kayo pinipihilan. <laughs> so, uh, sa 1080p HD, ito yung pinaka-standard na high definition na video quality. So, um, ito muna yung gagawin ko. So, sa rendering, hayaan muna yan. Ito yung pinaka-standard kasi sa Final Cut Pro 10 is Apple ProRes 422. So, ito muna, I, I'm, I'm gonna hit OK. So, makikita nyo na... Um, empty yung timeline. Ito yung timeline kasi eh. This is where you are gonna um, put the sample videos or like the footages that you have doon sa project media mo. So, as I have said before, mas okay na ino-organize mo talaga yung files mo um, based, based doon sa uh, video footages and doon sa music nyo kasi uh, automatic na na-detect na ng video editing tool mo uh, na sort na lahat yung files mo. So, Ito yung mga clips ko, uh, separate siya from the music. So, ito yung music na na-prefer ko. Uh, ito yung may sariling folder na. So, what I'm gonna do is uh, hit uh, the clips. And I'm gag ang gagawin natin first sa pag-video uh, edit is just uh, simple dragging doon sa timeline. So, I'm gonna drag this footage dito sa timeline. And uh, as you can see, medyo may change siya. And pag binitawan ko yung mouse ko, automatic na maglalagay na siya or like malalagay na siya sa timeline. So dito sa Final Cut Pro 10, meron siyang magnetic timeline. Pero sa Adobe Premiere Pro, wala siyang uh, magnetic timeline. So you have to manually um, stitch everything together. Um, I prefer na talaga i-manually stitch everything together, the clips, because um, first of all, medyo magiging super boring siya kapag uh, ang magiging next frame na to, for example, ito ipa-play ko, sobra magiging boring siya kapag black lahat yung next frame. For example, ito, I'm gonna play this, bigla magiging black. And then after nun, next frame na. So magiging boring siya, ba? So I recommend you guys na stitch nyo talaga ng maayos yung mga clips nyo all together. So, okay, uh, Sa pag sa pag um, lalagay ng clips or like sa paglalagay ng footage sa timeline, I recommend you guys na pag magagawa kayo ng B-roll or cinematic B-roll, I recommend you guys na maglagay lang ng clip na ma hindi magtatagal sa 7 seconds or not longer than 7 seconds kasi uh, I have research sa Google na ang attention span ng mga audience is sa mga bawat clips is um 5 to 7 seconds lang. So, 5 to 7 seconds and the next clip na. 5 to 7 seconds, next clip na. But, hindi naman siya technically dapat 5 to 7 seconds every clip. So, depende sa inyo kung um, i ang gagawin nyo is i uh, shorten nyo yung clip or hindi. Or ilalonger nyo yung clip. Depende sa story na gagawin nyo. Pero, dito sa video na gagawin ko, ang gagawin ko lang is just a short film 
or just a short B-roll. So, ang gagawa, gagawa lang ako ng one-minute video for you guys para makita nyo yung pinaka-output and basic editing. So, ito. Uh, so, you can see ito, seven seconds. I'm gonna trim this down by holding the last clip uh, pabalik para matrim siya. So, naka, naka, nakalagay na ako ng dalawang clips. As you can see, as you can see, medyo cinematic na siya kasi depende talaga siya sa ano, sa sa video clip niyo or sa footage niyo. So, I hope na maging cinematic yung 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 video niyo because um hindi madadala ng video editing ang um footage. Depende na lang sa pagkulay, sa color or like sa um exposure correcting. So, uh, okay. The next thing that I'm going to do after I plotted the uh two clips, I'm ilalagay ko na dito yung mga yung 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 prefer preferred music ko. So I'm going to put this here and then if you fade in ko lang para hindi para sa para sa tell yung pagpasok ng music. Hindi niyo maririnig yung music by the way ah, kasi naka headphones ako. So titrim ko pa siya. So ang gagawin ko lang is just um putting the clips all together. So for example, ito ah uh, Lalagay ko lang siya dito. Uh, Iti-trim down ko lang. And then... Ayan. Okay. So... Ayan. So, nakikita nyo na medyo shaky yung footages niya. No? Although, although naka-gimbal ako uh, nung time na yan, nakikita nyo pa rin talaga yung shakiness ng footage niya. So, ang gagawin natin dito sa clip na to is to put a warp stabilizer. So warp stabilizer sa mga other editing tools pero dito sa Final Cut Pro 10 it is called stabilization. So i-click ko na yung stabilization dito and then boom, automatic na mag mag ano na siya. Mag-stabilize na siya. So depende sa rendering time or depende sa quality ng video nyo. Pag ma sobrang taas ng resolution ng video na nilagay niyo sa timeline and kapag nilagay niyo yung stabilization dito or like uh sinelect niyo yung stabilization, medyo matagal ang rendering time niya. So ato so okay na yan. Uh, goods na siya. So ang next na gag uh, ang, ang next na ilalagay ko dito is yung um, footage from the footbridge kung saan ko to sinote, okay? Okay, so this time hindi ko siya masyadong gusto actually, pero for the sake lang na malagay ko lang yung clip na to. So meron ditong option din pala na isa, uh, number num number 2 tip ko din sa pag edit is to put um is to edit it in slow-mo. So, mas maganda talaga na pag gumagawa ka ng cinematic B-roll, mas maganda talaga na slow-mo ka. Pero ito kasi, during during this time, uh, nakalimutan ko na kasi iset yung uh, quality or like iset yung frames per second ng camera settings ko into 60 frames per second para mas slow-mo ko siya in a bit. Pero ito kasi, pag sinlow-mo ko siya, okay, um, isa-slow-mo ko siya, I'm gonna drag this one um, down to 70%, let's say. Uh, 70%, okay. So, medyo nag-slow mo siya. So, ito kasing clip na to is 24 frames per second. Pero, kapag 60 frames per second kasi yan, pwede mong i-slow down yun into 40%. So, ito kasi, um, pag sin-slow down ko siya, medyo magiging masagwa siya kasi medyo magiging choppy yung footages niya. Pero, ayun lang, tinuro ko lang sa inyo kung paano kayo mag uh, slow mo or like mag-slow down ng clip. So, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is by, you know, um, color color correcting and exposure correcting. So, for example, sa four clips na to, um, hindi masyadong maganda yung kulay niya, di ba? Hindi masyadong maganda yung exposure niya. Uh, this one is a little bit um, exposed. Like, it's too exposed, actually. Um, sobrang wash ng highlights niya. Sobrang, sobrang, yung shadows niya, hindi masyadong madilim. And hindi, hindi nabibigyan ng details yung ibang mga um, informations, uh, information uh, dito sa mga part na to. So, I suggest guys na i-color correct nyo muna siya. For example, eto, uh, there is, uh, there, there are two ways na pwede nyo i-color correct to or like i-exposure correct to. So, one is by clicking this footage and then hitting to the color um, settings dito sa Final Cut Pro 10. Pero sa uh, sa, sa um, other video editing tools like Adobe Premiere Pro, pwede nga pumunta sa effects control. So, doon mo pwede i-manually expose yung clip mo. 
So ito, uh, ituturo ko lang sa inyo to. It's just basic. Um, as you can see, um, there are four dots. So basically, makikita naman yun dito sa baba. Eh. So this one is for master. So itong lahat, yung kabuuan. So di ba, pag uh, in-expose mo, masyadong white. Pag ito naman, masyadong black. So ito yung master exposure niya. Pero if you want to edit the exposure manually and separately, you can actually hit on the shadows. So this one is for the shadows. Ito, ina-adjust niya yung um, exposure ng pinakamadilim na, na parte ng video na to. So ito, for example, uh, as you can see, makikita nyo talaga yung, yung shadows niya. So kapag din, binabaan nyo yung shadows nito, sobrang magiging contrasty siya. Uh, in which, sa mga other films, we don't want that kind of, um, of films. Pero depende kasi sa director yan eh. Depende sa filmmaker yan. Ako kasi, mas gusto ko kasi yung less contrasty. So, uh, I recommend na talagang i-adjust lang to a little bit. And then, yung, itong mid-tones na to, um, kapag may tao or like kapag may subject na tao, you can actually edit the skin tones or the exposure of the skin tones by editing the mid-tones. So ito, in-edit naman niya yung kind of the mid-tones ng ano na to, ng um, uh, clip na to, ng footage na to. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna re-expose it correctly and I'm gonna saturate it correctly. So sa film, um, hindi recommended or like, depende sa inyo kung, kung anong kulay ang gusto nyo. Pero Meron kasing three types of coloring sa film eh. Uh, one is uh, the warm, the next one is the cool, and the next one is the standard. So sa film, depende sa mood nyo and depende sa vibe nyo or like depende sa pag edit ng video nyo. Kung gusto nyo ng cinematic and ng medyo nostalgic yung dating, you can actually um, edit it or you can actually change the temperature into warm. So ito, normal siya eh. 5,000 Kelvin siya. So, itong temperature, you can uh, edit it all the way to the right. So, magiging warm enough siya. If you pull this um, tab into leftmost, magiging cool siya, di ba? So, kita nyo yung difference kung cool siya or warm siya. Pero kung medyo nostalgic or dramatic siya, um, prefer ko na ito yung gagawin nyo, na warm. So, itong tint, hindi ko na siya gagalawin kasi it... Uh, it adjust uh, it adjusts the other colors ng footages niyo so ayun yung isang way na i-edit niyo yung clip niyo isa-isa pero ang hirap di ba so what i'm going to do para ano para ma-edit lahat is i'm going to put a an adjustment layer so for example eto this is the adjustment layer. I hope na merong adjustment layer sa mga other editing tools nyo because in this uh, editing tool, which is the Final Cut Pro 10, merong adjustment layer. And kung wala namang adjustment layer dun sa Premiere Pro or like sa other editing tools, you can actually download it online. Yung mga plugins. So, yeah. Uh, pwede kayong mag-search sa Google. Uh, adjustment layer, plugins, free download, <laughs> etc. Stuff like that. So, ito, yung adjustment layer na to, uh, pwede niyang i-edit lahat ng mga nandito sa timeline at once. So, for example, ito, gusto kong i-edit yung exposure nito. Um, ito, i-down ko lang, and i-down ko lang din yung highlights nito. Damay din yung isa, o ba? Kung i-hide ko to, kita nyo yung difference, ba? Ito rin. Kita nyo rin kung gaano to. So, kung medyo maliwanag, kung medyo madilim to, or like super dilim na to, you can actually adjust the clip. Um, separately. So, you can easily click the clip and then uh, expose it correctly. So, like that. Para, you know, hindi masyadong masagwa na iisa lang talaga yung pag-i-edit nyo. Or like, one-way uh, coloring lang talaga yung kayo or correcting lang talaga kayo. So, ito, I suggest that kind of uh, editing. So, i-edit ko muna ito ng maayos. Alright. Okay, go. So, I-color correct ko naman siya by, you know, uh, going to the color wheels. Uh, this is how I color grade. So, kung gusto nyo na, ayun nga, I've said, uh, as I've said before, kung gusto nyo ng dramatic or like ng nostalgic vibe, uh, you can actually uh, change the temperature into the warmest um, color temperature. Pero kung gusto nyo ng moody, you can actually do it. Pero, ayun, uh, mas maganda na ganito na lang muna. So, okay na tayo sa color grading and color correcting. The next thing that I'm going to teach you is 
by adding titles or like by adding animated text. So dito sa Final Cut Pro 10, you have a lot of um, options to choose from. Uh, meron dito mga ganitong klaseng animated text. Meron din dito klaseng animated text. Uh, ganyan. You can actually download the plugins uh, online kung hindi kayo, hindi kayo contented doon sa titles or like sa animations sa meron dito sa Final Cut Pro. Ganun din sa Premiere Pro actually. Pero ako, ang gagawin ko muna is just to put a basic title. So basic title muna tayo dito para hindi tayo masyadong mahirapan and para madali lang ang pag-e-edit kasi I'm running out of time. So ayan, ito na yung title, di ba? Nakikita nyo naman. So ito yung title, automatic siya lumabas dito. So I'm gonna put Bang Samoro short film. Ayan, so okay. So, sa Bang Samara short film, ayan yung text na binago ko. And actually, you can change the font here sa baba. Ayan, nakikita nyo naman yung mga options dyan. So, I'm gonna put a League Spartan na, uh, uh, na text. Pero kung hindi masyadong cinematic ang tig tignan, uh, let's just um, put Helvetica. Ayan. And then... Light oblique. Okay. So, medyo okay na siya for me, ha? So, ito yung inano ko. Okay. Bang some more short film. So, sa short film kasi, um, hindi kasi maganda na bigla-biglang pumapasok yung mga films mo right off the bat or right from the start of the video. So, I suggest na maglagay kayo ng transition effect sa first ever uh, clip nyo. Dito sa Final Cut Pro, merong fade to color na transition. Pero sa other filmmaking uh, or sa other video editing software, um, ang tawag dun is uh, fade to black. So, kita nyo yung... Um, yan, okay. Kita nyo na, di ba? Yung uh, difference niya. So, dito rin sa text na to, pwede ka rin maglagay ng fade to color na plug-in sa text na to. So, para hindi masyadong abrupt yung paglilitaw uh, ng text. Okay, nice. Diba? Okay. So, ang next naman na i-discuss ko sa inyo is, ayun, transitions. So, paparaanan ko lang. Um, sa Final Cut Pro 10, you have a lot of options to choose from sa mga transitions. Pero, sa filmmaking kasi, I really don't recommend you having a very cool transitions or like yung pinaka ma-effect. Kasi, hindi masyadong maganda yun. For example, okay, dramatic yung music mo, tapos maglalagay ka ng ganitong class ng transitions. <laughs> diba? Parang ang bigla-bigla. So, nakakatakot siya or like nakakatawa siya. So, hindi siya appropriate. Um, sa short film kasi, sa mga dramatic short film kasi, I really recommend you na mag-stitch lang kayo easily or like simple stitching lang. Uh, simple, simple lang din ang paglalagay ng, ano, ng, ng transitions. Uh, hanggang sa fade to color or cross dissolve. Uh, ito yung cross dissolve, by the way. Okay, so I'm gonna add, uh, edit this one. So, ito yung fade uh, cross dissolve. Makikita nyo yung... Ayan, di ba? So, that's, that's basic, di ba? Pero, I'm, I'm not gonna put this. So, yeah. Um, ayan lang naman actually yung uh, tip ko sa inyo. So, merong akong last tip sa inyo. Uh, napapanood nyo naman kasi, di ba, sa mga other movies or like kapag nanonood kayo ng sine, merong mga parang color black na something sa baba at saka sa taas, di ba? It's uh, it's because it has a cinematic bar. So kapag gagawa ka ng cinematic B-roll or like gagawa ka ng cinematic film, mas maganda talaga na meron kang cinematic bar. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna put an adjustment layer again and I'm gonna extend it all the way until the uh, all the way to the end of this video. So dito sa Final Cut Pro, meron sa FX Control, ang tawag dito is letterbox. So, letterbox, it gives a cinematic bar. Ayan o, no, ngayon pa lang nakikita mo na. So, pag pumunta ka sa effect controls ng Final Cut Pro 10, uh, meron ditong option or aspect ratio. So, dito, I recommend you na piliin nyo eh, yung, is yung 2.35 is to 1. Kasi ito yung pinaka-standard talaga na uh, cinematic vibe. So, nakikita nyo naman, di ba, yung difference. So, kapag wala na ito, hindi masyadong cinematic. Pero kapag meron na ito, parang kumbaga... Um, extended yung or like medyo mahaba yung aspect ratio nung uh, cinematic nung cinematic video mo kaya mas maganda talaga siya so di ba dito uh, nakikita niyo talaga yung difference 
Okay. So, papakita ko sa inyo yung final uh, yung final output. So, eto na yun. Basically, lahat ng mga tinuro ko sa inyo is just basic uh, uh, what do you call that? Just basic uh, filmmaking editing or like video editing. So, makikita nyo yung final output nito right now. Okay, so wait now for the final output. Okay, so it's pretty short and talagang pinakita ko lang talaga sa inyo yung pinaka uh, sample kung paano kayo nag-edit or like pinakita ko lang sa inyo yung workflow ko while editing the video. So um, this video is for, you know, basic lang siya and you know, ang story kasi niya is, you know, to give a nostalgic vibe and para mapakita nyo na, mapakita ko sa mga audience sa talagang uh, tahimik na lang yung paligid kasi usually sa around USC sobrang ingay or like sobrang daming tao na makikita nyo, um, sobrang daming sasakyan pero ngayon halos wala na because of this pandemic, sobrang dami or like sobrang laki ng uh, effect uh, sa USC or like sa, sa Balok Manila uh, during this pandemic. So, um, nakita nyo yung kung paano ako mag-color gray, kung paano ako maglagay ng cinematic bar, kung paano ako mag-stitch, and kung paano ako maglagay ng transitions, and kung paano ako maglagay ng effects, like fade to color or cross dissolve. So, uulitin ko lang, no? Uh, I don't recommend you na maglagay ng magagandang transitions or like yung very cool transitions kasi it's a different, it's a different thing. So, Kung magta-travel video kayo na medyo cool or like medyo um, uh, EDM yung dating nung video, yung video mo, pwede kang maglagay ng ganong klaseng transitions. Pero kung ganitong klase na mellow lang yung um, yung short film na gagawin nyo, um, you, can, you, can, you can just put a uh, cross dissolve and fade to color. Just si simple as that. So, ang purpose ng video na to is just to teach you guys sa mga aspiring filmmakers and sa mga aspiring um you know, video editors na gusto talaga matutong mag-video edit. And hindi lang sa mga aspiring filmmakers, actually. Uh, ngayong pandemic ito, sobrang, uh, sobrang laki ng uh, effect sa mga students, sa mga teachers, or like sa mga uh, professors. Since lahat tayo dito mag-switch mag into uh, online sessions, like online talks or uh, online classes, syempre, para mas, you know, para hindi maging boring yung session nyo, uh, or para hindi maging boring din yung klase nyo, pwede kayong mag-video edit. Pwede kayong maglagay ng mga, uh, you know, explainer videos, yung mga ganong klase ng mga videos, stuff like that. So, um, just reminding you guys na lahat ng mga nakita ko kasi, kasi sa comments na parang medyo, uh, medyo nadadown kayo dahil, you know, magastos or like medyo, uh, hindi nyo alam kung ano yung mga video editing tools na pwede nyo gamitin kasi halos lahat dito is may bayad, ganyan. Uh, as I've said before, you can actually download other editing tools for free. And kung hindi pa kayo, um, hindi nyo talaga ipopursue yung film nyo, yung filmmaking, uh, filmmaking, sorry, kung hindi nyo talaga ipopursue yun, uh, you can actually crack uh, and you can actually um, learn para, you know, para 
natutulong talaga kayo kung paano y- uh, kung paano kayo mag video edit or like what's behind the video editing di ba uh, is for knowledge and is for educational purposes not unless na gagamitin yun for com- commercial uses because um you know pag commercial uses kasi medyo malalaki budget ng mga productions or something like that pero kapag mga classes lang or online sessions lang or online talks or uh, not face to face classes you can actually download all, all of the softwares for free So ayun, I hope na marami kayong natutunan sa session na to. And kung meron kayong mga questions, you can actually PM me uh, directly sa Facebook na um, pinagkukomentan ko kanina. So you can actually um, ask me questions there and you can actually ask um, kung, uh, kung paano yung other techniques and tips and tricks kung paano kayo mag-video edit or like kung paano mag-video edit. So video editing is not actually technical eh. So it's subjective. So depende sa inyo kung paano nyo ipoportray or like kung paano nyo i- uh, really imagine or like kung paano kayo maglalagay ng story sa video na gagawin nyo. So basically it's just like that. Um, hindi, ganun kadal, hindi ganun kadali mag-video edit sa, sa simula, yes of course. Pero by the time na nag-e-edit kayo nang nag-e-edit or like nagko-continue lang kayo ng or nagko-continue kayo nang nagko-continue sa passion niyo. You know, tuloy-tuloy lang 'yan eh. Matututo na talaga kayo. And actually kasi ako back in high school, talagang hindi ko talaga alam kung paano mag-video edit and wala talaga akong idea kung paano magsimula. So, I just watched YouTube uh, videos. Uh, natutulong ako sa mga other YouTubers or like filmmakers kung paano mag-edit ng tama or like kung paano mag-edit ng madali, ganyan yung mga shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts. Um, pwede rin kayong maghanap sa YouTube chat, sa, sa mga other YouTube channels. Ako, natong tumatanda na ako or like medyo nagmamature na ako, um, marami ako natututunan sa mga uh, new vloggers or like new YouTubers like sabihin natin si Ryan Odensyal, si Mati Hepoya, si Peter McKinnon, yung mga international YouTubers. Pero si Ryan Odensyal is just a local YouTuber or like your local filmmaker. So marami kayong matututunan sa kanila. And kung gusto niyo naman na sa akin kayo matuto, you can actually subscribe to my channel. So papakita ko sa inyo yung channel ko. I'm gonna share my screen. Okay. So ito yung uh, screen ko or like ito yung channel ko. Uh, So, pwede kayo mag-subscribe sa akin, um, youtube.com slash judkawili for more of this uh, kind of content. So, wait lang. Yan, okay, good. Um, ito yung mga uh, ina-upload kong uh, video sa YouTube channel ko. So, gumagawa ko ng camera reviews, nagtuturo din ako kung paano ako nag edit ng mga lookbooks or like ng mga short uh, video portraits or something like that. So, mga travel videos din yan. So, merong maraming, maraming kinds ng genre talaga yung, ma- yung makikita nyo. So, eto, uh, yung tip ko sa inyo kanina kung saan kayo pwede maghanap ng mga royalty-free music. Actually, you can uh, search uh, YouTube Audio Library, for example, okay. Okay, so sa Google, search ko lang yung YouTube Music Library. So, kapag click ko yung very first link, uh, that, uh, Makikita niyo lahat ng mga uh, music, ng mga bagong music. So, kung gusto niyo ng instrumental, makakahanap kayo by just sh- searching. Sobrang daming uh, options to choose from. And actually, sa sound effects, marami din kayo makikita. Because, ayan o, oh, uh, yung mga unnecessary na sound effects, ganyan. Um, kung gusto niyo magbigay ng actual na, um, you know, kung gusto niyo magbigay ng mood sa mismong video niyo, Uh, for example, kung isa silent na lang yung video nyo, um, mas maganda kung maglagay kayo ng sound effects para mas clear kung ano yung um, uh, pinapakita nyo or like pinapavisualize nyo sa mga audience nyo. Like for example, uh, pwede kayong maghanap ng uh, other, for example, sa sakyan, sa labas, sa mga kalsada. Pwede nyo i-emphasize yun by just searching in the sound effects tab, uh, car for example makakahanap kayo niyan. Like, for example, bullet kit car, body car, car doors, stuff like that. So, kung gusto niyo naman ng mas premium, pwede kayong maghanap dito sa Epidemic Sound. Um, it's actually a uh, royalty free music, pero kailangan mo mag-subscribe monthly. Pero medyo mag siya, yes. Pero, ayun, um, I recommend you na mag-audio library na lang kayo from YouTube. So, libre lahat yan. Non-copyrighted content. So, ayun. Um, I hope na makatulong, nakatulong ako sa inyo, sa mga teachers dyan, sa mga educators out there, sa mga aspiring filmmakers, aspiring YouTube uh, vloggers, 
So like that, I hope na nakatulong ako sa inyo. And thank you guys for viewing my live stream and thank you guys for editing with me. Okay. Okay, Jude, thank you for being part of this uh, webinar for the Bangsamoro region. No? And, yes, and I think uh, most of the tips and hacks that Jude uh, shared to us is basically just for us to have a head start to kickstart our, our skills in video editing on how we can improve our materials. Uh, for teaching or for doing film. Actually, wag kayo matreten kasi there are a lot of famous filmmakers no, na nagsushoot lang sila using uh, uh, their phone's Phone. camera. And, and, and I think that's it's really good for us to explore na you can always make a really good compelling uh, short video by using your phone's camera. Tapos may mga free software online and may mga free uh, music online. Just incorporate it together. And... I think when you feel overwhelmed about this 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 knowledge no I think it's 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 better to do it right away because yeah. sometimes oh. when when you feel overwhelmed you get to step back but I think that should be the reason for you to step forward to start it and who knows you might like the editing you might like how your storytelling will turn up uh, you would like how the your teaching materials will result, and also don't forget to submit your short film, three to five minutes, uh, short film for the Bangsamoro Short Film Festival on on or before July twenty five, and celebrate heritage without borders with us here. Um, and also I would like also to announce that uh, this festival will be giving away a lot of prizes as well no uh and i think the process will be so exciting for all the participants so please come and join and 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 sometimes in joining this kind of uh in initiative or festival it will uh, uh bring you to many places and will bring you to many dimensions where you can you can grow your talents your skills just like with uh jude no i think jude started when he was in high school and at that time i think jude no parang yes. you haven't had uh professional equipment you haven't had uh oh, you that. never paid for your software and 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 yeah. jude started from that and i think everyone especially in bangsamoro within bangsamoro or outside bangsamoro you can start from 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 the very bottom and later on you will be thankful enough looking back that you started from the bottom and where you are in the near future. So, okay. you know, <laughs> so uh, yes, I'm yes. Gonna, I'm going to give another tip so para sa mga aspiring filmmakers then. So, this uh, the reason for success or like ang, ang, ang reason para maging successful ka sa buhay is to take a risk. So, kung hindi ka magtitake a risk, ay yung pinaka-dangerous risk mo sa buhay mo. So, I, I think that you have to take a risk talaga. Okay, tama. So, before we close this, I would like to thank again our partners for partnering with us, especially in time of pandemic, so that a lot of our Moro youth will be able to uh, have something to do creatively and to echo their voices through storytelling, through short films. So I would like to thank, thank um, Czech Republic Embassy uh, Manila, Department of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of the Philippines, uh, French Art Festival, uh, British Council of Philippines, Bureau of Cultural Heritage of Bangsamoro Autonomous Region of Muslim Mindanao, Save the Children, Para Sa Sining, and Asia Pacific Film Institute. And yes, speaking of Asia Pacific Film Institute, uh, they will be sponsoring a scholarship pala for, uh, for the winning best film to be able to have a uh, uh, study of your choice. It's either uh, directing, editing, cinematography, or script writing. So the best film winner for this event will have a scholarship, Care of Asia Pacific Film Institute, and a lot of other prizes as well. We will be announcing the list of prizes and the list of categories of prizes that we'll be uh, providing uh, this August 15th. We will probably announce it later this weekend or by next week. So please, I encourage everyone to submit your short, short film 
and join us in this initiative of ours with uh, also, uh, I would like to thank our executive producer, uh, Bangsamoro Autonomous Region of Pasi Mindanao, Member of the Parliament, Attorney Maisara Dandamun Latif, for uh, being the main presenter and pro for producing this initiative of ours for the Bangsamoro youth. And so, yeah. Thank you so much, Jude, for joining, and thank you for your organization, Tomcats UST, for lending us your talent, and hopefully it will translate, translate and ripple, and will pass down to the uh, to the moros of 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 diverse faith and diverse ethnicity in Bangsamoro region and outside Bangsamoro. So thank you so much, guys, and thank you so much, Jude, and. Thank you. See you. See you on our next uh, webinar. Uh, our, for our next webinar, established Moro filmmakers will be sharing their stories and also on their techniques on uh, in storytelling and how you could create your own voice and how they started. Um, okay, hang on. Uh, Mm -hmm. so that's it for now and thank you so much and see you on our next webinar don't forget to submit your short film on, on or before July 25th thank you and shukran